I have a light in every single one of the sockets in this house, purely just to light the house up at night time. Nothing at all. Somebody's um, watching. Oh, right. Just stood here. But it's like a... Yeah. I could see that house very clearly. Hmm. As you were talking again, repeat what you've just said. I'll have to go back into it. Repeat then. what you've just said. He's still there. This week, the rescue mediums visit Orangeville, where Ross and Mary Jane have crossed paths with a spirit not yet crossed over. I was coming out of the washroom. I saw what I thought was uh, M sitting on the bed. I went upstairs, not knowing what had just happened to him. I went into the bedroom, and I saw something on the bed. Shadow ghost. So I went over to the light, flicked the switch. There was absolutely nobody in the bed. When we finally told each other, we realized we had seen the same thing, a bit separately. The rescue mediums are on their way to help. Are you all right? <laughs> Breathe! Breathe! <laughs> the paranormals get a little help from some paramedics. Everything good back there, ladies? You got any scotch and stuff? Oh, we don't want anybody rolling out now. <laughs> what, Jackie flying out the back? <laughs> <laughs> I have never lived in a house in my life where um, I've had a problem with darkness. I'm not scared of the dark, but um, I have a light in every single one of the sockets in this house, purely just to light the house up at night time. Oh, this is the way to travel. It's great. I love it. Jackie and Christine are internationally renowned psychics who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. <laughs> yeah, hang on. <laughs> the rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Even the name of the town has been kept secret until now. But several days earlier, they did have some intriguing premonitions. A figure that's been seen in the garden and in the house the name of Rachel, Montgomery. I had the feeling that there's someone standing right behind me. I looked in here, nothing. I looked in the other room, nothing. At one point, I just said, stop it. A very strong lady who um, is quite remarkable. I've got a, a sketch that I have that feeling about. Oh, a good. lady like that. Good, yeah. good. As another form of premonition, they have created these psychic drawings of what they expect to encounter during their investigation. This lady looks like Queen Elizabeth. The Queen? <laughs> yeah, but what's interesting is the mirror. Mm. There's the exact same mirror with the... Oh, really? ..with the reflection. Oh, wow. With the Which mirror. is, if you look, your mirror oh, there. Yeah, it is. And this is the other one, if you oh, look yeah. there. We have the same mirror. Yeah. Jackie and Christine have created the same psychic drawing, something that has never happened before. How, how they're moving. Mm. So yeah. That's the back, and that yeah. is like, yeah, from the front. Yeah. And this, the, the frames yeah, are the same, isn't they are. it? So it's got to be something there. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been paramedics? Tom and I have been paramedics about 23 years each. Wow. Longer than we've been paranormals, then. Yeah. <laughs> we've never been normal. <laughs> Neither have we! <laughs> As Jackie and Christine approach the residence, the homeowners eagerly await their arrival. I would also like to, just to be in the house and have it as, as our a house. normal house. Do you know, this is, this is our first real house together. It is. We just want a little bit of peace. Bye. See ya! Bye! Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.
Jackie and Christine are the rescue mediums. Psychics who make house calls. Hi. Hello. 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 Come here. Welcome to our home. Thank you. you. Thank you. The rescue mediums sit down with the homeowners to present their premonitions. Somebody's clairaudient hearing sounds and voices. And that's you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. a, a picture of a queen. I know exactly. Who oh, that you know is. who that is. Yeah. We linked that to, yeah, to the, the mirror. Yeah. This particular psychic drawing rings deep with the homeowner. Um, the mirror um, in question. I've been meaning to put up this mirror that's, that's linked in this linked picture. To this picture. Oh, right. For a very that's long why time. they're linked together. Have any of you actually seen this figure? Definitely seen the top. this. Point, okay, you've, right. You've drawn a, a black. It's, and it's exactly the way we see it. Type black. Shadow yes. It's got a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now we'd like to have a look around your house, if that's okay. Okay. Your house? Oh, Sarah, how's it going? Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Both the rescue mediums and the homeowners feel the significance of a mystery behind this mirror. But what does this mystery reflect? Back up. Yeah. Just stood here. Just staring. In the peaceful community of Orangeville, both Jackie and Christine have had premonitions of a mirror. Your mirror there? It is. And this is the other one, if you look oh, yeah. there. So there's got to be something there. Some connection there. Jackie and Christine examine the property for psychic residue. I'm not feeling anything so far underground, yeah. do you? Well, we normally get vibrations straight away, don't we? Yeah. I don't feel anything out Me here. Me neither. No. The spirit remains elusive, but the rescue mediums remain determined. OK, so we just need to deal with the inside, then. Oh, yeah. Let's go get him. OK. <laughs> go on, then. <laughs> You'd let me an old, wouldn't you? Jackie and Christine begin their interior investigation by descending into the home's basement. Everything's just so impressive. It is. It's a mirror here. A mirror? Yeah. Oh. Uh, wow. Is this the mirror that reflects their earlier premonitions? But the mirror that we've drawn is long. And it's more, but maybe it just symbolises an old mirror. Yeah. For now, the mirror's significance remains hidden. Right. <sighs> Jackie and Christine move to the main floor where they hope the vibrations will be stronger. Definitely a lot to it, though, isn't there? Yeah, it's a huge. A lot house. of house. <laughs> no, no, nothing. No. Okay. The rescue mediums are drawn to the top floor, where the majority of sightings have been reported. Sarah. Mm. Okay. Chris. Mm. A presence is felt. Nothing at all. I think somebody's um, watching. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like a. Yeah. That's right. Whoosh. That's Whoosh. right. Yeah. But the manifestation is brief. Just stood here. Just like. Like this. Just staring. Does feel female. Well, we can't help you if you don't uh, come forward. The spirit remains unwilling or unable to receive their help. Be 
because she's not been communicating very well. Hmm. I think if we just sit for a little minute Good and idea. meditate yeah. and ask our guides to yeah. give us some advice. Yeah. Good yeah. Idea. These guides who live in the spirit world protect the rescue mediums and can give them information from the other side. The mirror, you know the mirror that we've both drawn? And I've, I've just asked now whether I, I'm focusing too much on that and that's blocking me from anything else. But Joe Mackay has just said, no, I, I've got to keep with that. You know what we should do? What's that? We should go down uh -huh. and maybe bring the mirror up. If you feel this connection... I do, yeah. ...then that's what maybe we'll do. Maybe it'll help. Yeah. Yeah. There's something about... Um... Christine is interrupted by a vision. The farmhouse. Well, I, I could see that house very clearly. Hmm. How does this vision of a farmhouse connect to the spirit? You know when your heartbeat sounds mine in is, your ears? Mine is doing Is yours right doing now. the same thing? And what is the true significance of the mirror? Is it a clue or is it a warning? In the town of Orangeville, the rescue mediums have come to help. Christine has received a vision of an elusive spirit. The farmhouse. Jackie has been told to stay close to the mirror. Earlier, the rescue mediums discovered this mirror in the home's basement, but were unsure of its significance. The ghost behind the mirror emerges. It's like protection. They're protecting. But this lady is also the, the, a very strong, stern lady. You don't mess with this lady. She'd be in charge of a situation. But she's a family member. I don't feel that she needs rescuing. This is a strong spirit who does not need the rescue medium's help. I feel OK with that. Yeah, so do I. Right. Okay. However, there is a weaker, more elusive spirit who does. Go and sit on these stairs, then, eh? Yeah. OK. You know when your heartbeat sounds mine in is, your ears? Mine is doing that is yours right doing now. the same thing? Really loud. When you can yeah. hear your heartbeat. You're still there. Chris. I'm definitely seeing a farm with this lady. Actually walking along yeah. a dirt road. And there's um there's a wooden a wooden farmhouse here. As you were talking again, repeat what you've just said. I'll have to go back into it. Repeat then. what you've just said. I'm walking along a dirt path. Okay. That's it, that's it, that's it. Talk some more, see some more, talk okay, some more. Okay, I'm walking up the dirt path. Can't go into the house. Can't go into the house. It's almost as if this woman is stuck in a scene. Let's try and get her to change the pattern. The scene. Change the pattern. The spirit seems to be trapped inside a moment of her past. We want you to be here with us. We don't want you to see the farmhouse or the barns. Now I can see. Now I can see a church. Church. Her, she's showing me. Would she go to the church? Church. Yes. Would hold hands. By changing the scene, the rescue mediums hope to bring her to a place where she can see the light. She's coming. 
forward. Jackie and Christine allow the spirit to enter a safe haven in her memory. And then through the door is the light. And the doors are opening right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. They are. And through the doorway. From here, she is able to embrace the light. Next, the rescue mediums present their findings to the homeowners and compare it to independent research to see what matches up. The rescue mediums have come to Orangeville where they rescued an elusive female presence. Now they sit down with the homeowners to present their findings alongside independent research and see what matches up. Okay, you have uh, family members here who look after you both. Do you remember I was talking to you about the mirror? Looks like Queen Elizabeth. The Queen? <laughs> yeah, but what's interesting is the mirror. Because the Queen is actually... Yes, she is. Your Aunt Edna. Yes, yes. she is. Yes, she is. Sarah Edna Orgill born in December of 1908, was the great aunt of homeowner Mary Jane. She is also the strong spirit the rescue mediums believe was behind the mirror. We really believe that Aunt Edna is probably one of your guides. She gave that to me. She gave you the mirror? Yeah. This is why this all, all ties in so lovely. And everyone says, has always said, that Aunt Edna looks like the Queen. She looks like her, she dressed like her, she made herself to be like her. Very nice. Well, well she so still wants to be drawn as the queen. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Okay. Minute. But what of the second female spirit? The rescue mediums believe they have identified her. The lady who we've rescued on the top of the stairs, we believe to be Rachel Montgomery. And the name of Rachel. And then if you see there, and gave Montgomery. That is that family's name. The Montgomerys were the first people to clear this land. Right, so this is where we are in, with relation to the properties. Well, the original farmhouse was, was sort of like there. Right in the corner? Yeah. yeah. The farmhouse in Christine's vision appears to have been erected only metres from the homeowner's property. She didn't communicate with us for quite a while. She, no, she, um, didn't. she didn't talk to us for quite a while. She sort of rushed past us. You know the feeling that you've, you've had yes. that somebody's gone past you? And she stood and watched. She was standing and just standing and watching to see what would we would be doing and, and, and how we would communicate with her. Because she could see us. She knew we were there. Just... Uh, but she was a bit... Um, apprehensive. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's a good word to use. Yes, she was. She was apprehensive because she did have something to say. Why was the female spirit so elusive? Years ago, they used to tell people that if you didn't have a baby baptised, then the baby wouldn't go to heaven. In 1882, Rachel Montgomery gave birth to another child, Isaac, who died seven days later. And so we think this could be um, Rachel saying that she was bothered about this child because this child had not been oh, baptised. Tragically, her other four children also died before they reached the age of 12. You can see here, and it says, five infant angels sleep, but when the trump of God shall sound, they'll rise and glory reap. And they are the children of David and Rachel Montgomery. So it's very, very sad. Oh, it is sad. But we also feel that she, she, like, you shone a light, the two of you, and so she came towards that light for help. And because she'd lost all the children, and because of the religious beliefs that she had, she wasn't able to pass over into the light. So you've done a really excellent job in calling us in because you really helped this lady who lost all those children. 
Well, thank you very That's much. That's a lot. That's <laughs> a lot of information. It's great. You are very, very yeah. good. Thank you. You're yeah, it's our good. spirit guides. It's how we work with our yeah. spirit guides, and we link in with each other and our spirit good guides. Communication. Yeah, yeah that's you need, it has to you be. need yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to have to sit with your guide now. Yes. Yeah. And she'll give you all the information you want. All you have to do is ask. Jackie and Christine descend into the home's basement in search of a couple more spirits. You might want to have a game on the slot machines later. Oh, gosh, yeah, you bet. Yeah. <laughs> Is it by magic? Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No problem. So we have these for you. These are rain oh, sticks. Wow. And every time you use them back home, we guarantee it will rain. Oh, it's made of rain. They're fabulous. Oh, thank you. Yes. Cheers. Hey. Oh, up you kill. <laughs>